the two steel flues on the crematorium chimney give no signal. You might see a faint trail of vapor, almost invisible, answers the funeral director. Because you're nothing in the rain. No, you're nothing in the rain, man. You're nothing in the rain, man. Soaked to the skin. You're nothing but nothing. The wet rat within. Just try, 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 try. To save your own skin. To save your own skin.
Valiant's vilified. Il Tevere. Save the revolution. Dear Linnet. Elves. Lent. Bilingual race. Vaughan Poetry Mag. Ellen. Autumnal leaves. Live. Love. Advantage. Leaven. Clover. Listening. Live. Love. Vines. Cleavage. Nine inch nails. On vinyl. Lynn. Eleven. 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 Poppy day. Evolution now. Ambivalent. Don Van Vliet's ever nubile Elfin Google. Don't look down. Navel. The vanquished, vindictive, unloved in Levi's eleven. Valiant's vilified, delving into London, Vendetta, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona, moving, voluptuous nudes, voting now, vile Lent, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, poppy day. Don Van Vliet's elfin voodoo, the vanquished Van Morrison's Bergson's Elan, Belvedere voluntary loving, Vini Vidi Vinci supernova, lovers lane, believe, no leverage, believe, villains. villains, 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 lovers lane, live. Eleven, eleven, eleven. Bobby Day.
sit on the white marble bench beyond the beds of orange marigolds on the square of the murdered children in the park where the old woman says all the trees here were chopped down for siege firewood during the war years and count all the names engraved in black on the seven silver scrolls they total some 500 and if you then think about how the water gushes up from the fountain in the monument, center square. You realize the five jets fronting glassy emerald stone keep on bubbling, bubbling. Then just as the young dogs grow trustful of drinking, suddenly shoot up so high in the air and the water wells up, rolling out wave upon wave to the black granite basin's rim. Like a miniature circular sea pushing out towards the edge of the human world where all the many colourful bouquets placed there by parents, siblings, relatives, friends, the bereaved, known and unknown, lie still wrapped in bright paper, string tied. Vigorous ripples sparkle in the sunlight, unfurl outwards ever further, further, so that the pigeons can land and drink more surely. Slowly, the basin fills, brimming till well springs of clear, bubbling water can only just keep their fountain heads above water. Water, water, drawing in water, fresh water. And the first ribbons on the flower reeds get splashed, then drenched. A sparrow sips as the bowl begins to drain, ebb, retreat, vanishing back to the innermost source, down into the pool whence it appeared. The fountains reshoot up, frothy, bubbly as fizzy lemonade, life reaffirming its triumph over so much death, sorrow, loss of all dead children.
Her soft, hot fingers slowly slide down into the zip undone, done up, undone. The false eyelash torn off, ripped like plucked feather in the mirror. On camera, she stares intently at the photos, insight into another world of promised excitement. Blindfolded, strapped in tight, strung up, just beyond reach in Nurse Wolf's dungeon or the coldness of the mirror. She pressed her pubescent body against to feel, see it. The syringe, the whip, the high heel, the rope, to feel something get inside, be inside, anything at all in a leather hood, in a plastic mask, in a rubber suit, to be tortured in, or just roped down, or land in a house for abused women, battered and brutalized, not so much physically as emotionally. Is it fantasy or reality? 
that cracks in the misty mirror, creaks across the parquet floor, or tramples the shiny silver metal panels that line it. We watch the rules break in our minds. What exactly is it they're doing? Never done that. Like to do that. Pigs on leads, the arm of Frau. Plug all the holes, it's possible to plug. What language is this idolatry? A hard on says it all, a call for blowing bubbles. Sperm flies, winged, inserting a fish into her cunt. For the joint, the common goal, sharp objects, the wind-up, the key in the head, manic, manic, fetish, ist, ist, fetish. Vamp, sinner, sinner, sinist, thou monkey, wank, wait, wait, can't wait, for the lash of the cat and nine tails on the coils, wrinkles, folds of skin on vaginal faces and scrotum heads, a lord on a dream of hermaphrodite, auto-erotic double love that rises or falls in the mouth. Strangled penis yanked up, caught you are, in flagranti, in the movable wardrobe, a minotaur on horseback, semen dripping from your head, in flight, fight, death, times, weapon, innocent girls duped into nude modeling by sordid promoters behind an iron curtain of carnality. Masochism, a new religion. Honeymoon love drops can last forever, unretouched. A babe never forgets that first experience. Spikes, squirting penises, she pisses into his open mouth. Death's skeleton sucks the living cock and sets the nostalgia miracle on fire. It's the clothes you wear or don't, or can't, because society says no. Odysseus at the mast, at the mercy of the sirens, unbind me at your peril. Stop, eyes, ears, nose, cunt, ass, at the head of the prick, slides into the mouth between lips, passed across the flat edges of her teeth, I watch with interest, pride, tingling of ego, my shadow cast across the bed, captured on the voyeur's video screen. He climbs the ladder of spikes with a rose between his teeth in search of wasted youth. The erotic what normal life so painstakingly acquires. The erotic is spending. So cry, cry, cry in pleasure's pain.
a bottle of Corbeau. Fixed 
the emerald eyes of the Malachite genus. We're but a pea in the Nile, he thought. It's our serpentine sap keeps cobalt beryl alive. And he began to hum the holly of Kildare. In Schweinfurt, Mickey's nibbled at pistachios. Ordered guinea duck stuffed with celadon apples on leaf mignonette with parrot smalt. Outside, he admired the civet patina of his Lincoln. Then his citron avocado chartreuse arrived. Under the cypress, holding a bunch of Reseda leeks, Myrtle Rinneman adjusted her jade. Bice, said Kendall, from behind the camera, a scent of the aqua Egyptian he'd bought her in Paris, strangely reminiscent of cucumbers, olives, and absinthe. Oh, 
like the camel. That keeps on going at its own pace forever. And knows no fence. Nor needs one to keep it home or abroad.
top of the lump and see your reflection in the golden brass. Childhood genius reappears. Over the lamp, and your lover stands there, beckoning. The lamp. And William Blake, frock coated, strides across the heath. Over the lamp, and the darkness of silence becomes deafening, then bursts into birdsong. The grass grow lush, wet, and blue in the morning mist. The lamp and the sunny lawn is mown at a stroke of sunlight from cloud. Rob the lamp and the bigot is mute. Rob the lamp and the tyrant is dead, assassinated as he drips his poison into the people's ears. Rob the lamp and the flag is burnt to a cinder. The lamp and the word disappears completely, leaving a pool of black water in a puff of smoke. Oh, the lamp, and behold, away through the forest, light through the trees. Oh, the lamp and hear the slashing of rain on the ocean roof. Rob the lamp and write non-stop for three days. Rob the lamp and write non-stop for three weeks. Rob the lamp and write non-stop for three years. Rob the lamp and fly there and back on a cheap hour return. The lamp and walk past the shelves of a vast library. The lamp and go to the poetry section. The lamp and under L, find a book in seven volumes by the Lux poet entitled Rub the Lamp. Rub the Lamp, but be careful about the blisters. Rub the Lamp. Rub the lamp yourself.